So I try to keep this a secret. I'm putting this uh, 58, 59 fleet side bed on my 56. Um, right now, I'm trying to get this thing because this truck is on a 1990 um, GMC 1500 OBS chassis. I have to modify things to make this work. So, so far, I got the inch gap here. So that's looking good. Um, I mean, it's lining up to the, the truck cab pretty good main problem is this gap right here had to cut the frame notch the frame a little bit uh, i gotta figure out how to like i'm just gonna put a bracket uh, a plate weld it to there so i can bolt it to it i might even just take a piece of uh, uh angle iron put it across there and easy bolt together um thinking about moving my trans cooler since it doesn't need to be underneath the bed anymore um i don't really want to put it above the fuel tank but i don't know where else to put it right now so uh, pick these sides up right both sides this one has a lot of bondo and stuff in it i tried shaping it but i'm not the best at body work so I mean, you can really see here but i got the little beauty rings that go around here led uh tail lights i've got the little cups already for it um gonna wire it up and throw them in uh i broke one of the chains taking it out of the um the other bed so okay the other bed that i'm referring to is the long bed i pulled the long bed to get the uh inner fenders the bed cap this seal and then my tailgates right there um Oh, and I also took the crossbars out of it. There's a couple more right there. Um, oh, you can really see the Bondo work right here. I mean, that's dented in, and there's Bondo on the outside to make it look flush. It's Anyway, I'm not a body guy. It's, it's not something I do. Um, so, yeah, I'm out here trying to figure out. Like I said, I cut the, the end of the um, frame off so I can scoot this forward to get it to tuck up to the cab correctly um there's more coming to this truck i'm trying to um basically come up with the money to buy it but the whole suspension back here is changing i'm gonna put a ladder notch in not bagging this truck doing coilovers but we're getting rid of the um the leaf springs i'm gonna take these hangers off basically i'm gonna strip the whole frame taking these mounts off uh this rear end's coming out and then i'm gonna put in a um four nine inch that i'm putting together um i already got the uh conversion axles for it that are the same local pattern as this truck the five on five um doing disc brakes uh haven't figured out how to do the e-brake yet uh, I think I'm going to do the electronic uh, push button deal and get rid of the pull uh, lever that's in the cab. I've, I've never cared for it. It's always in the way. It's really close to my speakers. Like, I just don't like it. So I figured if I had a push button to engage it and disengage it, it would be perfect. Um, so the kit I'm looking at also takes out these mounts, this mount, and then replaces this mount. But it's meant for an OBS truck, so that's where the complication comes in. Because I believe I have to move this rear end forward about two two inches, and it should be centered-ish in the fender well a whole lot better than it does look now. But I'm just going off of this. So measuring from here to here, it's 40 inches. So I figure I cut it right in half, right? And the rear end should be about here. So that's where I'm getting my two inches from. But we'll see when I finally get this thing apart. We'll see where it sits. And then uh, try to get it to look right. So, yeah. Um, and then also I'm going to switch these out. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the square uh, tube through here. That way I can... I want to put the wood back in. At least some of it. I don't know... 
don't really know if it's a waste of time because I'm going to have the, the frame coming up. Maybe I'll just do like flat two and then uh, make a house that goes over um, like other all the bag trucks have, that little tunnel that goes over the ladder notch and then I'll level it out up front. Or I could do flat here to this point and then go up and then flat all the way to the front. Or I could raise the whole thing, put it, put an angle here and then flat the whole way I, I don't know what to do yet but i do want to keep these fenders in here just so that they keep the splash down somewhat i hope but i figure on the freeway if it's raining or whatever the the dirt and debris is going to get all in here anyway but we'll cross those bridges when i get to them i guess but it went together pretty good uh the body lines line up pretty good with the doors just sitting on these so maybe I'll just keep these for now. Um, this thing was super flimsy. It's a whole lot stronger now. I mean, with the fender wells being tied into it. Um, I do want to put some more like structure in here. Something to come down to these because I don't want that flipping around while I go down the, the freeway or whatever. Both sides. And then... Uh, same with the front up here. This is cool. This is for a spare tire. Um, I wish there was a way for me to use it, but this truck's going to get 20s. I don't think it's going to fit in the back. But, yeah, I'm excited. Little by little, it's coming together. This is something I've wanted to do for quite some time. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see. All right, look at that. Oh, sorry, my dogs are not helping. Look, that line is pretty, pretty solid all the way down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the progress that's been made. That's why I haven't been posting. Once again, trying to keep this a secret, but I've been telling everybody I run across since I'm so excited about it. It's been this bed has been a long time dream for me to put on this truck um wish i would have thought about it when i originally tried to put the step side on here since the step side bed sits right on top of the frame rail right there so i can't i couldn't put it on i was thinking about back half in the truck i even got to a point where i was going to chuck this whole thing i mean that's where the c10 frame came up and that's where this that was going to go underneath this um but this is easier uh, in the long run anyway. I don't have to change a bunch of stuff. Plus, this thing's running and driving as it sits. I just got to modify the drive line, all that stuff I listed in the back. But that's stuff I want to do too. I don't like the leaf springs. I want uh, coilovers with, um, what is it called? It's a wishbone three link is what's going back here. So I'll have two points going forward and then one, no, I'm sorry, one in the center right there on this cross member that's going to get replaced. And then that point comes back and then attaches on either side. And then um, below those is the bar that goes forward, I believe. I have to look again, I don't remember. It might be just a one link coming off the bottom here where the leaf spring is to the forward part because I know there's a bracket that goes where the front leaf spring bracket is now. So it might be two new top mounts and then um, the bottom mount there on both sides, of course. So that's why I'm taking that opportunity to throw the Ford 9-inch in here. So I've got to re reroute these brake lines, but that that's, that's easy. Easy stuff, little by little. Cool, just wanted to share, update. Um, if you follow along this long, far in the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, look forward to the next one.